have your life together right now, this video is not for you. This video is for normal people who are a mess and totally fine with having ice cream stains on their shirt and hasn't showered in a questionable amount of days. However, society unfortunately has not advanced to a point where that is socially acceptable. So we must conform and actually look like a functioning human being once in a blue moon. That is where this video comes in. So when you feel like poo, why not dress like it? We are starting off the first outfit with a major poo theme. Brown. Honestly, I just want to show you the new brown converses I bought. Yes, I caved into the brown trend, I'm a trendy bitch, but this outfit is literally as simple as you can get. I just threw on a brown crew neck and some white pants. To spice it up, I also added like a beige collar underneath for more of a preppy look. Like this outfit is like all over Pinterest right now. But if it gets extra cold, you can also wear a big leather jacket. This outfit is like perfect for those days when you want to look like a functioning human being, but also want to exude the emotions that you have on the inside, which is like poo but grunge poo, you know? The next outfit is for those lucky bitches who don't live in freezing weather and just like throw on a sweater vest. When you're too tired to get out of bed, you really don't want to bother laying around a bunch of things or putting on anything too tight. So a sweater vest is honestly the best compromise that you'll get. If you have problems with excessive perspiration, a sweater vest solves that for you. You won't sweat, if you wear a sweater vest. Uh -huh. I just kept on the same white pants to match the white stripes on the vest. That's also another really good tip. A really easy way to look more put together is just to subtly like color coordinate. Okay, so this next outfit is for people who have their shit together. We're leveling up a little, so buckle your seatbelts, leather pants, and animal prints. I know. It's scary, but we got this. So I call this outfit your post mental breakdown surprise. Like after you go through some shit, you need to like tip the scales and balance again, at least for me. So I just like go all out and I kind of look crazy. I think this outfit is super cute for like a night out or dancing alone in your room. Both are equally fun. So this next outfit is when you have to look put together, but you really just can't give another fudge sickle stick. You have an interview, you have a presentation, you have to look like you don't have crumbs and butter stains on your shirt. We get it, we've all been there. This outfit will save your ass. A gray turtleneck and leather pants, that's it. It's so sleek and it's sort of comfortable, I guess. And the leather pants give off a sense of power and like, don't talk to me vibes cause I'm better than you vibes, which is what we need most days. We need that extra boost of arrogance sometimes, you know? Okay, we are really wearing these leather pants to death, but one last outfit with them is just a crew neck and sunglasses. Sunglasses, no explanation needed. They're the ultimate hater blockers, but this crew neck is a recent find at the thrift store. I love it, but I was baking cookies one day and churning the butter like real women do, and I got butter stains on it, so I can't wear this out, but you know, it's still cute. Calling all the funky and groovy lads. This is one of my favorite cardigans because it dresses up any outfit. Like you can literally be wearing a white shirt and jeans and bam, this outfit, your net worth just increased by like a couple million right there. Some people think this orange zebra print is really tacky, but I like it. So that's honestly all that really matters. Oh wait, look at that delicious panini. Pesto, chicken, mozzarella, tomatoes, bliss. Look at how good it is. Look at me dancing. Look at me go. But how did I make this wonderful creation, you may ask? You want to elevate in life with me too? Well, your wish is my command. Thank you so much for Wish for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't already know, Wish is one of the largest e-commerce marketplaces in the world. They have over 150 million plus items on the website, so they're a big boy. And you can literally find anything on Wish from like camera equipment, lighting, kitchen stuff, blenders, beauty blenders. Like the list goes on and on, like literally anything your heart desires, anything you wish, wish has. But I love Wish because honestly, the website is so cute and entertaining. The website is super easy to use. If you have like an item in mind, you can just search in the search bar. But if you're just browsing, they have a bunch of different tabs and categories that you can look through from like popular to like express delivery to even local products, which I think is really, really cool. So Wish sent me some of the products to try and I want to show you guys because they're really cool. Of course, I had to get this angry Shiba and it is so cute. Look, it's so angry. And the best part is it has a butthole. Like, look at this. Isn't this adorable? 
but it's so soft and I sleep on it every night. This is honestly like more comfortable than my pillow. Like it's just like so <sighs> bouncy and pillowy. I'm gonna name him Albert. Another thing I got, you guys already saw, which was this panini maker, this panini press. Honestly, one of the best things I own. Before, I was eating cold sandwiches like peasants, and now I have elevated in life, okay? All thanks to this panini press. It's super easy to use. That's what I love about Wish. They honestly just have so many like random products that you think that you don't need, but you actually do need in your life, because like this panini press, they are essential. I don't know if I can show this, but lastly, I have this desk stand. I literally use this every day because, you know, when I'm like working, getting shit done, I sit at the desk. But at night, when I'm watching K-dramas and literally screaming, crying, laughing at the screen, I need this bad boy. But I definitely think that you guys should try out Wish. It's a really affordable and just like a fun way to shop. So if you guys are interested, you guys can check out Wish in the link below in my description box. Albert says bye. Bye. Anyways, back to the outfits. Okay, so at this point, I got a little carried away and kind of forgot about the whole easy and comfortable part of the video. Basically, I just started playing dress up. But I call this look the turquoise noise. <sighs> yeah, that there's honestly not much that rhymes with turquoise, but... Just work with me here. But I was going for more of a monochrome look. To take things up a notch, I also threw on this grandma jacket. Literally, catch me outside when I'm like 80 years old. I'll still be wearing outfits like these. I want to continue being boss ass granny vibes. I'm so excited for when I retire. For the next look, I try to do the thing in movies where they don't actually wear the jacket but unnecessarily drape it over their shoulders. Honestly, I take that back. Everything is necessary in the name of fashion but I changed out the green pants for some beige trousers instead. Another combination is just a white skirt for more of a girly option, you know, gotta go golfing, you know the vibes. I recently bought some clothes, so this next part is just me trying them on and putting them together. So, haul time. Look at how cute this pink sweater vest is. I channeled Jenny style from Blackpink on this one and wore some black trousers. I think trousers are honestly such an interesting way to spice up an outfit. Like yeah, everyone has already seen jeans, they know what they look like, blah 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 blah. But trousers, that is something new, something exciting. I think pairing them with like a cute girly top or something really makes the outfit stand out and turns it into like a more street style look. You feel me? Another example of this is with like the blue ribbed cardigan slash top thingy, <laughs> not really sure what's called, but I paired it with my baby, my soul, my life, the Mirakami. Okay, so I recently got these jeans and I am so torn if I like them or not. First of all, they're ripped and I have no ripped jeans. I think I still have like my grandma's lectures drilled into my head on why ripped jeans are so unnecessary. But the other thing is the jeans are like very straight fitting, you know? I feel like I am literally wearing straws or something, but it's like tight on the top too. So it's like a diaper and then just two straws. I don't know, it's complicated. They make me feel really, really long, tall, and kind of badass. I don't know, maybe it's the rips, maybe I'm rebelling. I'm probably gonna return them though, but you know, I had fun in them. But back to the original point of the video, comfort. This outfit is really just fancy sweats. I have a theory that sweats that aren't ruched at the end look so much fancier than sweats that are. I got these like rib sweats recently and they are indeed a life changer. I feel like a boho girl that meditates every day, drinks matcha lattes, has her own planner, but I just finished this look with some sunglasses and a bag. Again, the hater blockers. This look is great for you when you go grocery shopping, you wanna look cute for the paparazzi, for also when you're on your period and your uterus is literally just that like one fiery ball that somehow went to the CIA to get training in like knife skills. So it just keeps like stabbing you every second of every day. <sighs> What fun times. Okay, last one is actually just like a business casual outfit. I got these tan trousers and pair them with a white button down. If you wanna look 10 years older, just like throw this on. It's easy, it's breezy, it's cover girl. Pair it with some sneakers and a shoulder bag to dress it down and you're like out the door. So those are all the outfits I have for you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and got some like inspiration off of it. But remember, if you feel like shit, you are not obligated to dress up for anybody but yourself. Repeat it with me, people. 
but for me at least, dressing up does make me feel more productive and honestly, it does help my mood. So that's why I like to do it. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And remember, you guys can check out Wish in the link in my description. But that's all I think I have for today. So as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.